Hey guys, it's Maz here, founder of the Fitness Freedom Flow. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If not, welcome back. So today's vlog is going to be on tips on how to deal with post-comp, aka post-comp blues, post-comp depressions. Um, yeah, it's known to be called a few different things. But yeah, I'm exactly one week um, past my uh, the ICN Queensland state titles. So it is the 14th of October, 2018. Um, and yeah, this is not my first show, so I know a lot of other people have found it difficult post-comp. Um, it can be physically, mentally uh, challenging for some, not everyone, <laughs> and if you're the lucky few, <laughs> that's amazing. But I just wanted to share this because everyone on Instagram voted for this video um, and just share some tips that I feel may help you, especially if you've never competed before. So if you do like this kind of content, we'd really love for you to hit that big thumbs up button, show some support and show some love. Plus, it really does help a girl out. And if you haven't already and you want to follow my journey, um, I really would love for you to hit that big red button down below. You know that big subscribe button. Um, I share tips, tricks, recipes, training, my journey basically um, from right at the beginning when I was a little bit overweight. So yeah, um, thanks so much for stopping by and enjoy the vlog. So day after show day, to be honest, <laughs> I don't feel like amazing. Like, I <laughs> yes, it was such a blur. So no placings. Um, first division was really tough. It was a massive lineup. It was like 30 girls or some something ridiculous. Um, it was a bit tough in the way that like I had family and friends there, and it was really hard for them to get any photos because I was left in the back corner in the second row. So there was yeah, there was only photos taken at the end when I like made my way to the front <laughs> right at the end. Uh, but um, I actually this is still the best prep I've ever had, the most enjoyable prep, the most enjoyable journey. I freaking love where my body is like I remember dreaming to have this kind of body um and I love it I love it I love the muscle definition things that are popping out that wasn't there before like it's totally unreal um I'm super blessed at the progress and everything that I've made um show day for me wasn't The highlight at all <laughs> it's been the journey the journey's made everything so worth it um yeah so i got feedback um from the president's wife so the president of our federation's wife and she basically she not basically she told me um um i was a bit too muscly for bikini division you know um i had the i needed to she suggested I take season A off and come back season B for fitness. So I'm too muscly for bikini, not quite shredded enough for fitness because fitness you need a six pack. Um, she advised that I just, I had the legs for fitness because my thighs, my glutes, everything's pretty strong down there. I love it. I love it. I got that booty pop happening. <laughs> but, um, I needed to bring in the waist, get like some abs and build my shoulders um, for fitness. I don't know how I feel about having a six pack to be honest. I like where my body is now. Um, I don't want to lean up, not lean up, I want to lean up, but I mean like get skinnier for bikini. I like my muscle. I like being strong. I like the fact that I can look at my body and it's like, yes, yeah, she lives. I like that. Um, so just got to get some downtime, reevaluate what I want to do, get my head clear. Um, I actually think I'm going to head to the beach. Nature always makes me feel better. So I just need to have some maths time. We'll see where I'm at. <laughs> now this is what I call an amazing Monday. There's nothing better than the ocean breeze, the sound of the waves and that bad Mindy just what the doctor ordered. So it's the 12th of October 2018, um, Friday morning. So comp was last Sunday, the 7th of October. So well, that's five days.
from comp. Um, <laughs> I will admit the first couple of days I ate food, not the best foods either, like foods with sugar, I had my dough house cookies, um, I was eating other cookies, I was just, yeah, I indulged a bit, but um, I knew that wasn't going to last forever, um, <laughs> but I went a little bit insane and my stomach was hurting so bad. Um, yeah, like, because your stomach shrinks so much. Um, and I was bloating like crazy to the point where I was like, okay, Mads, you need to stop. But I'm about to go for my fasted cardio. Um, it's 6 a.m. in the morning. I'm going to show you what I look like right now. So, this is my stomach. safe to say that I'm pretty bloated but I've done this a couple of times before now I know this is normal and it is all water weight um yeah it is impossible to gain fat that quickly but it still doesn't feel good and yeah I'm a little self-conscious I've got my trip to South America coming up where I'm going to be in bikinis a lot especially in Brazil so time to get back on the ground Okay, now it's six days after comp, Saturday morning. Um, the bloat is not as bad, still holding water, but I will show you what I look like. Ready for this? <laughs> Feeling better. All right, now it's post comp. You're probably gonna wanna eat all the food because as we all know, whether you're flexible dieting or in a tight meal plan, um, as soon as you come off comp, you wanna eat all the foods that you couldn't have, especially coming up close to comp. So you're probably gonna wanna pick out. So by all means, go for it. Like you're entitled to have that um, feast or that donut or that burger or that pizza or whatever it is that you want you've been craving for like why not reward yourself enjoy it like food is life right but um just be cautious not to go completely overboard everyone's different some people like can get back into the swing of things as well quite easily some people not so much especially if you've been restricted uh for quite some time it can be mentally and physically challenging um, for myself, I've always done the flexible diet, uh, regardless, throughout all my different coaches, I can't do it any other way just because being completely restrictive just doesn't work for me. Like, I like to be able to eat the foods that I enjoy. Um, but I've always been the same after comp. Um, I do reverse diet, but in saying that, I will go out and eat whatever I've been craving and have that. Um, you've got to be careful, especially coming out of comp, because your stomach has shrunk. Um, you can make yourself sick by eating too much or literally to the point where you feel like your stomach is going to explode. I was actually thinking like I'm going to die. <laughs> I've been there, done that, trust me. Um, it's completely normal. But yeah, just be conscious of that. Um, usually what I do, and everyone's different, but for me, I usually just take a week off from counting macros and whatnot um, and just eat foods that I want, like in moderation. I will admit the first couple of days I usually like, ah. <laughs> but um, don't go too overboard or you're going to have to work a lot harder to get that back. You don't want to ruin all those months of hard work, do you really? After my week off, I will go back to what I was uh, intaking about two weeks out from comp um, and I'm sticking to that. So get that maintenance. If you don't know what a reverse diet is, talk to your coach, talk to a professional, but usually the whole point of it is to slowly build your calories and your intake, your carbs and your fats back up slowly and gradually until you can get back to, you know, your maintenance at least so you can continue building and growing and being healthy rather than being stay, rather than staying in a calorie deficit. Um, but yeah, just be conscious of that. <laughs> That's where a lot of people I know, and including me in the past, have tend to find where they struggle. <laughs> like, it can be tough. I've seen so many people 
friends, girls that have like completely blown up and gone crazy straight after comp because, yeah, it can be tough, but just be conscious. So a tip, don't stop training. I know your show day's done, um, and yeah, you're entitled to have like some rest if your body feels like it, like listen to your body if you're absolutely exhausted. I know comp prep is super tough, but don't go from one extreme to the other. Yeah, as everyone knows, when it comes to anything in life, going from one extreme to another is a recipe for disaster. So for me, like towards show day, there was no training, and that happens to for a lot of people. So I did have three rest days, um, the third being show day. The day after show, I rested again because I was absolutely exhausted, but um, got back into training that next day. So it was four rest days, basically. Just keep training. Just because show day is done, like, did you really work that hard to look that good for the one day? <laughs> Just think about that. All those months of training, like however long that prep took you, you didn't just work that hard to give it up, right? So consistency. You wanna at least maintain. You're not gonna look exactly like you did on show day. That's completely impossible, like looking that on peak every day. The most important thing is to stay consistent and continue on with your training. Another thing to keep in mind is that straight after show, it is completely, completely normal to pack on a couple of pounds or kilos, maybe more than a couple. Um, and it's gonna happen almost straight away. This is inevitable. Like, it's inevitable. There is no way you can maintain whatever you're doing. Um, the week before show day, um, a lot of us are depleting, uh, taking sodium out, salt out of our systems, uh, carbs out of our systems. Not necessarily, but that's what a lot of people are doing, or water loading, whatever it is you're, you've gone through over peak week you're obviously not going to do that post-show. So once you start introducing your sodium, your salts, you know, carbs back into your system, your body is just going to be like, oh my God, where have you been all my life? And grasp onto that. So if you can help it, stay off the scales. Um, and if you must do it, just expect you're going to gain some weight. Um, and the thing is, it's not fat. It's not fat. It's completely impossible to, like gain that much fat that quickly um, when it says you're like three or four kilos heavier or whatever it is um, it's it's just not possible to do that that quickly especially over like one meal or a couple of meals um, it is the majority of that is water weight it is all water it's your body holding on to all the things that it's missed um, and just in shock really so just keep consistent in like eating, in training, um, you know, don't go overboard and like you'll find over time, um, maybe a few more days or a week or so, um, that will subside and you'll slowly come in. And you know what, if you do mess up um, and you do eat a little bit too much food or a little bit too much junk, you go a little bit overboard or end up having a crazy binge or anything like that, don't beat yourself up. It's super important to like stay strong like, mentally as well. Um, don't beat yourself up and then be like, oh, well, stuff it, I already had a cookie, so I may as well eat the whole lot and get rid of the evidence. Or, well, I've already looking bloated, so like, what does it matter? Like, I've already gained weight, what does it matter? And just keep self-punishing yourself. Um, self-punishing yourself, I don't know. Yeah. That was really bad wording. <laughs> but like the most important thing is like pull yourself up and just remember how far you've come. Just get back on the bandwagon and start eating good again, fueling your body. Um, and yeah, keep exercising, keep training and just remember why you started in the first place. And enjoy all the food that you get to have. So for me, look what I'm having post-workout. Let me show you, I'm so excited. Um, yeah, so I've got some garlic and um, olive oil sourdough, just two small pieces, half an avocado with a cup of spinach, some cherry tomatoes, two boiled eggs and some smoked salmon drizzled in lemon juice. Like, seriously, food porn or what? Alrighty, it's raining outside and I'm feeling a little bit chill, so I'm going to have a shower. Um, but before I go do that, I'm going to leave you with another tip. So another tip is just because comp day is done, 
don't stop drinking water. If anything, keep drinking loads of it. So the reason why I say this is uh, I know a lot of people may have been water loading prior to comp. Um, but just because the show is done and whatnot doesn't mean to stop drinking loads of water. Um, reason I'm saying this is because as soon as you start eating and trying to eat like a normal person after show day, you're going to be holding a lot of water because again, the sodium, the salt, the carbs are getting introduced back into your system and your body is just like freaking out being like, what is this stuff? And holding onto it. You're carrying a lot of water weight. Like you're not, you didn't, all that weight you've gained on the scales that you've probably looked at or can see in the mirror is not fat. Well, it may be some fat depending on how crazy you went, but it is not like six kilos of fat or whatever it is saying on the scales or in the mirror um, for yourself, but it is water weight. So in order to get rid of that water weight, you need to flush it out. So my best advice is keep drinking loads of water and get that down. You'll start to notice after a while um, that water weight will slowly up here <laughs> and you won't look like such a balloon like I'm still holding a little bit I can see it uh, in my cheeks I can see it in my arms my arms aren't as defined I do see it in my belly um, and my thighs actually like everywhere <laughs> but I get it this is not the, my first rodeo <laughs> I've seen this happen before um, and as long as you don't go too hectic and too hard like post comp when it comes to all your feasts um, yeah, it's easily fixed. So just drink loads of water, flush all the toxins and everything out again, um, flush that water way out and like water is good for you anyway. So stay hydrated. Um, so I did mention on Instagram that I was going to explain why I have now decided to pull out of the world titles, which is cupping cupping coming up in a couple of weeks um i was going to explain it in this video but i don't want to have this vlog run too long um and i did actually want to take the time to explain why i've decided to pull out world titles um and articulate it a little bit better than just rush through it so i'm actually going to do that for my next upload so stay tuned and yeah i will be answering everyone's questions uh, because I know there's a lot of people wondering and hitting me up, ask me why I pulled out of Worlds or am I doing Worlds still or all those messages that you guys have been sending me. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, I really hope you did find some value in this vlog today. Uh, if you did, don't forget to show your support. Give it a big massive thumbs up um, if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, to keep, make sure you're updated for my next upload where I spill all um, about why I've decided to pull out. And um, to make sure you get notified, don't forget to hit that big subscribe button down below, that big red button, plus that little bell in the corner that will actually notify you as soon as I do an upload. So stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Time to have a shower. <laughs> See you guys.